Okay, I'm looking down here on Bastyr Herbal Gardens. And just to kind of give you an overview, um, there is different sections. And um, it's a, so it's a teaching garden and uh, the students and groundskeepers keep it up. Um, but different, for example, different sections, there's an East Asian medicine section for herbs, um, cause part of the school here is acupuncture. There is a body system section. So for example, you'll see neurological or digestive herbs all together. Um, there's a four element garden, which is dedicated to the, uh, um, ancient Greece. Um, medical system of the four elements. Um, there's even a reflexology path where it's these little stones that you walk along um, and uh, get a reflexology treatment. And then also there is a, extending from the gardens is a three-quarter mile ethnobotany trail and um, and that has two sections, both the meadow aspect and the rainforest. So we'll, we'll walk through that as well. So I'll try to zero in and, and get more up close, but this just gives you a, an overview of the herbal gardens at Bastyr. This main entrance, this is the production section. And to be honest, I don't know why they call it that, but it's a nice little labyrinth with um, different, uh, different herbs and a little table in the middle. And then over here we have the body systems. So these are arranged according to the body systems, like for example, the endocrine right here. And we have the reproductive right here. And then here's the respiratory. Here's some culinary herbs. You see the big rosemary bush there. And then right here we have gastrointestinal. And over here we have the uh, nervous system. This is the musculoskeletal herbs. Right here we have the immune and the lymphatic system. Yeah, it's nice. Right in the middle of the garden here, we have this fountain. It's very meditative. And then over here, we have the botanical family garden. Have the East Asian medicine garden which has both the Chinese and the Ayurvedic herbs. There's astragalus right there, a popular Chinese herb. So just on the other side of the East Asian medicine garden is the ref reflexology path and you can see you walk along these stones barefoot if you can handle it <laughs> give you the best reflexology treatment of your life okay we're in the four element gardens this is dedicated to the Greeks who um, identified their herbs in four categories uh, according to fire earth air and water so this neat garden here divides up the herbs in their section of the element that they correspond to All right, here we're in the um, shade garden. So herbs that grow well in the shade.
There's a bunch here. This is the nutritional garden where there is um, teaching and learning about sustainable gardening practices. This is part of the meadow section for the ethnobotanical trail. There's some great camas, the purple there. All right, I'm on the Ethnobotany Trail, and this is the rainforest version. And uh, yeah, it's it's really nice. So there's some. They've got a lot of plants identified here. Indian plum. Anyway, this goes on for a good at least half a mile through the trees. There's a stinging nettle. At the gardens, you also can just relax and take it all in without even looking at the specific plants. I'm right now underneath a willow tree and I've got the four elements garden right in front of me and um, the meadow restoration right behind me. But uh, great place to be. I'm just gonna sit here and take it all in.